Play is underway. Florida State junior Frederick Ketrup one up in his match. His tee shot at the fifth. And a beauty in there for Catrup, who lost his quarterfinal match. But to lose his quarterfinal match, the men had been 10 and 0, but beyond they didn't have it this morning. Let's see if he can bounce back. I mean, this is out to the right towards the center of the green with Anderson in the bunker. That's probably the smart play. Didn't quite get all that one. Florida Gator to win the individual title. Now over to the second, Ryan Burnett of North Carolina. Got that right back hole location and gets it just left to the hole. Be putting uphill. It's a nice leave. So far this afternoon. His uncle played golf at Georgia Tech and is part of the Georgia Tech Athletic Hall of Fame. Teammate of Matt Kuchers. See if he can work it from left to right. That's underneath the hole. Not really what he was looking for. Really good look here. Not much to it. Yeah. Burnett won the first four holes, jumped on Riggs Johnston, won that match one up. So Catrick with a nice save and remains one up heading to seven. Connor Howe has this putt for birdie to win the hole. Good read, good putt. So we'll see if Fred's does. I don't see a whole lot in this one, though. Play that stroke was pretty freed up. I think we got a different Fred Biondi this afternoon. 50-year senior, North Carolina, going up against another redshirt senior, Bartley Forrester from Georgia Tech. And look at him walk that one in. It was halfway there, watching that one go in the center. One up early in that one. I don't see a lot in this one. Outside the left. Great putt there. You can make three, you're going to win that hole. Unless it starts out in the left center and it stays out there. We'll go right in the middle of the hole. You don't have to worry about it. Dripping speed. Cole Anderson, a winner this morning over Matthias Bessard from Illinois. Going one up in that one as the Florida Florida State battle continues. Semifinal action continuing from Greyhawk on a Tuesday in Scottsdale. Solid pars at the ninth. Over at the ninth, Cole Anderson, first to play, one up in his match. Yeah, hit kind of a stinger three, went off the tee, has 180. Wins right to left, that's what the ball's kind of going that direction. Yeah, cannot miss to the right, it'll go down the slope. But a little bit deep, but not too bad. 185 today, this afternoon. Location that back level. It's a left and fortunate kick off that slope and tough to put a golf ball right there, but ideal place to put it. Over at the ninth, Cole Anderson has this par putt to tie the hole. Shouldn't be much in this one. Wow, was that any good? Mm -hmm. So Anderson remains one up. You know, Lampert gets a tie after going back and forth over the green. Obviously, that didn't happen. So Minetti goes up. Found his game and hit some real quality shots down the stretch. To Needed that to have a chance to stay in this hole. Yeah. To your point, at least he can tap into four or five hours ago. I'm never out of it right. because I just did it. Have to have that mindset in, in match play is... And these young men stepping right into the role and leading them to the semifinals. And I guess it's hard to argue with what Trey's saying. Bigham now five up. 185. 182 gets you on top level. Can use a little bit of that left slope. And Mickey goes just left of the flag, trying to gather back, and that's a nice golf shot. Is tied. Carolina 
So three of the five matches are tied between North Carolina and Georgia Tech. Each school up and one. Let's go down slope a little bit. Needs it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you figure Fred's going to find his game this afternoon. We talked about it. He, they need a point out of Fred this afternoon. At the seventh, and he'll have a third as well. Lampert three down in his match right now. Can use that backstop or go right at it. Well done. Yeah, very nice shot there by Christo. David Ford has dropped the last three holes. He's two down. His tee shot at five. 185 when down out of the right. Center of the green. Really nice. Right where you need to put it. <laughs> really? Amazing. As long as you keep improving. He did. <laughs> Yushin Lin has this par putt to tie the hole. So he's six down through ten. Have to fly it just short a hole high or come all the way down off the green 30 yards. That hits in that fringe cut and killed it and what a, that's a nice golf shot right at hole high. Well, what he's trying to do is make sure he keeps everything in front of him. Caught this just a bit heavy, but on a pretty good line. See if it's enough. Staying oh, in the air a while and really nice shot. Should funnel down just a bit, yeah, maybe. I like that setup for him. The ball above his feet. See if he can get it on that proper level. Oh, yes. And he does for now. Hold on. And outstanding. Missed his birdie putt on the high side. So Dylan Minetti has this for birdie to go seven up through 10. And Dylan pours it in. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Connor Howe, great tee shot here at eight for birdie to win the hole against Austin Greaser. He gets it to go. So while Minetti's up big in that Carolina first match, three, Georgia Tech two, Georgia Tech the other one. four, the Yellow Jackets leading in each and every one. Still a little bit in this hole uh, is a bit of a gift. This is going to be very slow back up the hill. Not much to it as the hole sits in between a, in a little saddle. So bogey for Kress. And now the pressure on Catra. Catra with par at 14 goes two up. This to win, go one up against Castillo. So the Seminoles making a strong move here, leading in four of the five matches against Florida. Granite, three of those, just one up leads. For par to win the hole, currently two down to Ross Steelman. All right, cuts that in half. North Carolina just hanging in. And the prudent play here is just right of this hole location. He's got a perfect angle from the right side of this fairway. On a good line. Good shot. Give him a nice look. Right where you need it. Two up lead. Fred Biondi missed his birdie putt. So Cole Anderson, who missed the green with a second, has this putt for par to tie the hole to Hoselli by a stair. Two up. Only loss for the Tar Heels in the quarterfinals. Going left down that hill, picking up some speed and catches the hole. Greaser ranked sixth in the World Amateur Golf Rankings. Rolls that in for birdie. And he buries it. Now that's some good golf. Howe remains one up as they exchange birdies at the 10th. Tech remains one up. 
Oh, how clutch is that by Matthew Kress? Pours it in. Perko, you think about it. His, he two, was two up Florida on that State tee three, this morning and wound up losing up. his match. Down big against Minetti. There you go. A little fight left from Christo. He finds one there. Pitched it to here. Lamprick missed his birdie putt, so Minetti has this putt to win the match and put a point on the board for the Tar Heels. Line just left of center. Solid. That was very confident stroke. Got a nice approach in here. Heck of a three there by Brett. From Georgia Tech, this to win the hole against Peter Fountain. Birdie would move him to three up. Boy, what a day Ross Steelman has had. He's really played some quality golf all day long there, Steve. Yeah. John right. Dubois gets a second point on the board for Florida. Has a chance to go three up if this goes. Wow. Pours it in. We, we got lulled into Minetti out of the gates quickly with North Carolina. Went just inside a couple feet less than Fountain. Does Man, pour it in. I'm telling you what. Pressure back now on Stillman. Yeah, he's got to be looking out to the right. Look at this. And that was exquisite. I've seen so many great pitch shots.